What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. I, got, I had a good day. It's my, my day started off, I was red. I, was, I started off red and, you know, I just made a few good trades and got back to green. And I was like, you know what, I'll take it. Uh, and then I kind of left for the day. For the small cap world, I thought it was unsure who was going to win. But I ultimately thought the shorts would win again. Um, so, but this week, it's been, you know, so this is a holiday week. And for some reason, holiday weeks are always kind of slow, right? And it's, it's no, the thing is, is that people like to, people like to take the day before, like, think about a holiday. If you can book end the holiday. It, you get a, you know, it's almost like taking like a whole week off. So, you know what I mean? Like if you, if Monday's going to be a holiday, people will take the Friday. First of all, everyone knows that the day before the holiday sucks, right? And everyone kind of knows the day after the holiday sucks. So, you know, so people then take off the day before the holiday and the day after, and it kind of creates this like really slow week, right? You know, people will take fr Friday off and then people will take Tuesday off and they, they, they get, you know, Sunday you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So it's almost like they get like five days off. So this is why holiday weeks are kind of slow. And this is why it was kind of quiet and lackluster, I feel, this week. Like we didn't really get anything until Wednesday, like Wednesday, mid-Wednesday, like mid-yesterday is when we, we started to get some, some activity going on with GRNQ. That's the ticker, right? GRNQ. Like that was kind of boring in the middle of the day or in the, or in the morning. It kind of just faded off, right? It kind of faded off in the morning and but it reclaimed in the afternoon. And that's kind of what, you know, woke the market up from its, from its nap. But the range in this market, it's been ho-hum. It, it, we've seen some good range on a couple of good stocks, but most of the stocks that have been in play have been really cheap stocks. Now, I think they've had good range for the stocks, but overall, like they're cheap stock, the range isn't that great. You know, like we're kind of like, because we had this holiday week, I put us here right in the middle of the dead in the buyer's market. Like, I feel like like we were in the buyer's market, but the holiday we kind of pushed over here. I think like if we were to follow the circle, we should be going to, you know, we should hit a little bit of a buy market. One thing I wanted to clarify with this kind of graph here, the, the more outside we are on this chart, like the stronger the buy market, the more probability we're going to, the stronger, like the more outside on this rate graph we are, the more likely it's going to follow the circle, right? The stronger the buy market, the more probable is that we're going to have a sales market, right? So the, the more, you know, like overzealous the, the bulls are, you know, that's, that's what's going to lead us into a super bearish market when all the bulls like, uh, you know, keep buying everything because everything's been going up massively. That's what's going to cause everyone to become so overly long biased that we enter the sell market, right? In the last few weeks, we've kind of just been chilling in this little middle area, which just kind of, it, it, this middle area is more of the tug of war zone or it doesn't, we're not in a full buyer's market. We're not in a full seller's market. We're kind of in the middle of, kind of in the middle of the everything market, which is where I like to be. I don't like it when we're in the full buyer's market or in the full seller's market. Like it's re it really kind of, it makes me, it always makes me a little anxious thinking like, when's the sell market coming? When's the, when's the, when's the, the squeeze are going to happen, right? So I like, you know, being in the middle. Of, I don't like, like it's nice to be in the all buyer's market to, and then buy everything and then all sellers. But eventually you, you kind of get afraid in those kind of markets, like when's the turn coming? Cause you know, they are coming. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. Like we've kind of just been in this little tug of war, everyone's market, which is cool with me because it means there's a little bit of everything going on at the same time. The control has been pretty even. Like I said, as long as we're in this little middle area, we're pretty even still even from last week. I think we have a fair distribution of faders um, with the, with the few exception of the few strong stocks that lead the market, right? Keep shorts on their toes. Um, the action has been kind of slow. It's the holiday week, but that's pretty normal. People took off Friday. They took off Monday. I just went over that. People want the, the day off Tuesday as well. Day odd. Day off Tuesday as well. That, that explains the action we saw. And that's why 
I think it didn't really pick up till Wednesday mid afternoon. And then today was pretty strong. All right. So the, the, the one thing I've been noticing about th this last week is that strong stocks are staying strong and weak stocks are staying, staying weak. We're not really seeing a whole lot of crosses where, you know, we're not getting these super like reclaim trades. There was one GRNQ. I think that was just the market's way of saying, dude, I'm not completely dead, right? It was just, I think the one true like VWAP reclaim that we really had. Um, that was surprising, not like a low float stock like ABIO. That one you kind of expect to reclaim, right? Um, you give that one a little bit more respect to do that. Whereas GRNQ kind of died, right? But if you want to, this is one thing I wanted to talk about. GRNQ did kind of reclaim. But one thing that um, I do want to highlight, and I've highlighted this before, when stocks, like whenever there's a, a long wick to the upside, this is a level that I am always watching for this pattern. Like this is a pattern I've seen in the market over and over and over again, right? Where the wicks kiss, right? The, the, the upper wick here, and then we gap up, and the, the bottom wick likes to kiss it. Like, I, 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 I really wasn't watching this stock because it was, you know, a boring Wednesday, and I've probably already left for the day when it had happened. But this is something I always like to watch, right? Like, when a daily level comes into play into the, into the intraday level, right? So, like, this, I mean, when, when you see this, the squeeze really makes sense, right? We, it had a downtrending pre-market and it goes down here and, and like reclaims 140. Now you don't think anything of this at the time, but then it starts, it's really slow. But the important part here is that we are holding really well this 140, right? And this is hindsight analysis, of course, because I didn't trade it, but this is something I like to look for, right? You say, man, look at this 140 holding. Now all the shorts are thinking, yeah, it'll eventually crack, right? And longs don't have a whole lot of faith in it, right? It's just, I mean, the vo look at the volume. But the, the, the point is it's holding. And if it was just a random level, yeah, I would, wouldn't think anything of it. But, it, I mean, it matches up perfectly with this upper wick here, 140, right? Like, this is something to always look out for. I mean, if anything, maybe not even to look for a trade on the long side. But if you're short and it's holding a level, make sure that it's not a daily level that it's holding, right? Like, this is where you might want to say, it's holding 140. I can't fight it if it wants to hold because 140 is a daily line. Now, if there's no daily line and it's just holding 140 like weirdly and it wants to perk up, I might hold through something like that, right? I might hold through it, right? This is something in a situation where if I looked and saw that there's a daily level here at 140, I'm not going to play, you know, the, well, let me give it room. I'm not going to do that. Right, so that's just an important thing to mention with this GRNQ. ABIO is today, so this is just a trade I kind of went over already. I, I won't go too far in detail with this one. But yeah, MTXR, right? Easy, I, easy risk trades are the best trades. Yeah, so like I said, loss first, then I got really recycling with it, right? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, this is one thing I wanna, like you have to keep in mind, this stock, whenever a stock is around VWAP, there is dump risk, right? I got a little dumped on here too. It was okay, it wasn't, it wasn't massive. Uh, it was more than I wanted to, but like I was trying, here's the thing with this. Like, I remember this now. I remember this now. I was trying to sell here. I was trying to sell here, but I didn't have locates on this fucking stock. And I had a sell out here at nine. So like when it tanked, I had to, I tried to sell. And like, it says, dude, you don't have the short. So like that happens. That's annoying about that. So always be careful of that, right? Like if you're in a dump risk spot, you know, and you have sells out, but no borrows, like make sure that you're not in huge. That will save you money over time. That's why even though I'm, well, I'm not, that's why I like to have, borrows on a stock I'm going to long. It really, it helps to, to trade it. If, if it's cheap enough, I'll do it. ABIO is not cheap, so I didn't do it. Hurricane Joe is here to sort your recyclables. Uh, yeah, anyway, then I got really recycling with it, you know, using this 750. I, and by the way, notice how I didn't have an order waiting here. I, I wasn't like, I was like on this VWAP dump, like, I mean, it could have broken 750. Fuck that. Like, I'm not going to like have my order here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to guess that shit. Like, I'm not guessing that shit on a VWAP fail and a, and, a, and a fail of eight. I'm not guessing it. But when it holds for a couple minutes, I'm like, I can use this. I can, you know, like, now I have a nice easy risk, right? I like easy risk trades. If I, if I had my order here at 750 first, that's not an easy risk trade. If it breaks 750, how the, how low, how the fuck low is it going to go? I don't know. Dude, it could go to seven. It could go to fucking seven. I don't know how long it's, how low it's going to go. So that would not be an easy risk trade. I like easy risk trades where I know exactly when I'm going to get out and it's not going to be that bad. And, you know, those are the kinds of trades I like to take. I guess that's it. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Unless I take, unless Bow takes a day off, then I'm taking the day off. All right, guys. Take it easy.
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.